Can you tell that I've been procrastinating? Now, as you may know, Accelerate X Beta is finally out. This new beta update is quite the one. Mainly because, one, I could delete a two-page script of an Accelerate X review I planned in July because it's outdated. But also, I do have a fair amount of thoughts and criticisms about the new update. Just to keep in mind, I may or may not have been too harsh on some of these thoughts. Anyways. Now for a brief overview of the new stuff in beta. Here's the stuff. I will be mainly talking about these three major points. I don't review cars, okay? First, let's talk about the new the new UI because it is something that I immediately noticed upon opening up the game. Yes, the UI, not the map. I'm fun, I know. Mainly because now it's way more simplistic than it used to be. Furthermore, you don't have to spend 5 minutes trying to figure out how to spawn your bloody car. The car menu screen is something that really disappointed me. It's just... What's the word? It feels too bland. And to say in a harsher way, it feels like it's done in 15 minutes. The use of black and white colors really isn't appealing, and the use of more vibrant colors would probably be better. The tachometer has been an improvement in my opinion, but nothing too special. Overall, the UI has been a bit more user friendly, but design wise, it's just too bland and boring. Although it's very much not part of the main game, and there's definitely a lot more important things that devs have to work on, as part of the game and user experience, there's undoubtedly a lot more room for refinement. Moving on to the map, keep in mind I have no prior knowledge on what kind of things the devs are working on right now. Needless to say, it's not something I quite expected, it's a 180 degree switch in direction from the reused V4 map, and I do have my own fair share of criticisms. Yes, 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 I know, I know, there's going to be more added to the map, but this is, um, uh, unneeded first impressions, not my worst review series that I've done before. It's obviously not a full review of Accelerate X. Going back to topic, my criticisms of this new map revolves around one point, which is... It's boring. Now, before you start sending me death threats, hear me out. You have the freedom to take my opinion with a grain of salt. I love what the developers are doing, and I know they have put hundreds of hours in order to provide us with the level of detail this game has. It's insane. Anyways, continuing on with the map, if I were to word it differently, the current state of the map isn't really attractive and engaging. It's just too featureless with a small town, gas stations, random construction sites, a rally cross stage, bridge, and that's about it. I really do love the toggy vibes I'm getting driving around the mountain roads, even so I'm sorry to say but I'm a bit disappointed in the most part. The final part I'd be talking about is the new handling mechanics. Oh man, this is a weird one. You see, in the background footage, I'm struggling and crashing a lot. This is because for me, the steering just feels odd and weird. When you start turning, it's alright, it feels a bit sluggish, maybe a bit too understeery, and the car suddenly decides to become a Porsche. Apparently every single car in this game has good steering angles. Uh, yeah, it's either way how the car steers, reacts, or the tires just hate me or something, I don't know. Before I conclude, I have one more complaint. The game isn't well optimized. Now keep in mind my PC is not the best, running with a very modern, very sexy CPU with a 32 nanometer process node. Yeah. Although I don't have the effort to get detailed data, I'll definitely not AAA titles, games such as War Thunder, Genshin Impact, Apex Legends, Enlisted gives me a pretty smooth and consistent 60 FPS. So I'm pretty exasperated with the sudden peaks and dips of FPS while driving. And so, a conclusion. As a first impression, I would rate the beta update 6 out of 10, but on the good side of 6 out of 10. 
There are still flaws and bugs that have to be fixed, but this is the beta version that just came out a few days ago, and there's so much more planned right now. Frankly, I probably made myself too hyped for the release of beta, making it feel underwhelming when it actually came out. And honestly, I wouldn't have minded waiting another 3 months to get more of the map done. Either way, I'm excited to see what's to come, as they did make an announcement on what to work on, and maybe I might make a full review, I don't know. Okay, die.